Hey guys, it's Meredy here with Not Just For Boys and today I am here with you to make the page kit that is called Honeycomb. So what you are going to get in your kit is the following items. You're gonna get this Fancy Pants Foam Alpha sticker. I took it out of the packaging so it wasn't crinkling on the video. So that's why this little piece. <laughs> um, it's Foam Alpha Thickers and there are a lot of pieces, 156 letters. So that's really nice, like really, really, really light seafoam green, like super, super light. And then you're gonna get this Not Just For Boys hexagon. These are acrylic hexagons. And although you could probably use them as an embellishment on your pages, that's not what they are meant for. You could even paint the back and use it as an embellishment on your pages, but that's not what we're gonna use these for. We are going to use these as templates for cutting and drawing hexagons. Um, and that's mainly what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to do that. So you've got four pieces here that are just graduated in size inside one, of an one another, if I could get them back together. So the, these are gonna be used as a template for this layout, a template for all kinds of things, and you can reuse them and reuse them and reuse them on lots of layouts. Then you're gonna get this pack of 54 die cuts from Fancy Pants Honey and Bee Ephemera Pack. And it's just got all kinds of different little icons. It's a lot of flowers. We don't usually do quite a lot of flowers here, not just for boys, but um, there's other cute stuff in here besides just flowers, and there's not really any flowers in the paper. So I thought it was okay to get a pack of ephemera that just had a few flowers, because there's lots of other good stuff in there too. Um, so that is the embellishments that you're going to get. And then let's go over the papers. You're gonna get this Echo Park Dream Big Little Boy paper, and it's called Adventurous Arrows, and it's grid on one side and arrows on another. And then you're going to get this um, Fancy Pants Honey and Bee Queen Bee paper with bees on one side and just a stripe pattern on the other. And Fancy Pants Honey and Bee Honey Jar paper. So there's all kinds of like honey, like art, um, you know, the text art. And then on the back side, it's this honey color. And then this is Fancy Pants from the Pink Meadows line. And I really love the wood grain with this. Um, the back side is floral. We don't even use the back side on this layout, but you could. But we stick to the wood grain. And then two sheets of smooth white cardstock. Um, I almost forgot. Uh, you will also get a Shimmers Sunflower paint pot. And this is Shimmers, which is different than the inklings we usually carry. This is already um, wet inside. You don't have to add water. It's already wet. So I forgot when I was starting out this that this is also included in your kit. Little pot of shimmers, sunflower color paint. And you're also going to get a page of instructions in your kit. And if you have gotten other kits, this isn't your first one, you'll know that on the back of the or on the bottom of the instructions is a or on the back, I guess, of the instructions is a cutting guide. And that shows you how to cut all of these papers. But for this particular page kit, um, there isn't really a cutting guide because we're gonna use these templates to cut hexagons from all these papers. So basically what I'm gonna do is just take off these two white papers. I'm just gonna start. These two white papers are gonna be the base of your layout, so we're not going to use the, those right now. And I'm going to grab a cutting mat, an X-Acto knife, a pencil, and we're gonna get started right away. So I've got my self-healing mat here, and I'm going to just start with one of these pieces of paper. So I'm gonna keep these templates, these hexagon templates out, and I'm going to just move my embellishments off to the side. We're not gonna be using those yet. And I'm going to start with one piece of paper, and I think I'll start with this piece of paper, and I'm going, I'm gonna show you exactly the sizes that I used on my layout. Now you don't have to use these same size templates. You can you can use a different size, like a smaller size. If I'm using a big one, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you what I did on my layout. Yours, there's a lot of wiggle room here for you to use like 
maybe the B sides of the papers or different size templates or a lot more hexagons or if you want to use you know less hexagons so I'm just going to start with what I did so I took the biggest template and it's great because these are see-through so you can see exactly where you're tracing and I'm going to trace the outside of it right around what is already showing on this paper as a hexagon it's already got this hexagon so I just traced right around it I'm gonna do one more big size on this paper and I'm actually just gonna come kind of get it just right close by this one maybe I'll do it to read the word sweet and I'm again tracing the outside of this biggest hexagon Okay, and then I'm gonna do, I wanna use the B side of this paper, this yellow side to do a couple, but it's fine to just trace them still on the same side. You know, I can just flip this over, flip the paper over after I cut it out. So I'm going to do one of them, this second to largest size. Let's see, I'm gonna lay the templates out here so you can see which one I'm picking up every time. And I'm gonna do one of them this size. And I'm just tracing them ever so slightly and I'm gonna do one this tiny baby size. Okay, I'm gonna put this paper off to the side and I'm going to grab the arrow paper. And with the arrow paper, I'm going to cut one that is this big size and one that is this, the biggest size, and then one that is this size. And I'm gonna try to get it with some arrows in there. I want to be able to tell its arrows. You could honestly put this anywhere on your paper. And then this size. And then I am gonna want some from the B side of this paper. So from the B side of this paper, I'm going to cut one this second size. And again, I'm just tracing it on the same side, knowing that I'm gonna flip this over when it's time to use it on my layout. And I'm gonna cut two this we'll say extra small small medium large <laughs> so we'll do two the small size and i'm kind of trying to keep these all in the same quadrant of this paper because on this layout one option is to mat your photos on leftover scraps from this and i'm going to do one two of these extra small sizes as well but like I was saying, um, we're hardly using any of this paper, as you can tell. So we can save and make another layout using all of this or use it to mat your pictures. Okay, I'm going to set this one off to the side and I'm going to grab this B paper. And for this B paper, I'm going to use um, the large size hexagon and I'm going to cut one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna actually cut the B's. So you can, however, if you want your B to be angled more straight in, in your cut, tilt your, whoops, tilt your thing. Um, I don't want them all to be angled straight. So I'm gonna kind of just cut six I'm gonna go ahead and trace six. And you know what, I'm not cutting any of this back, the B side of this paper, because it's this thick stripe and it kind of, the pattern is kind of hard to, 
to tell what the pattern is when it's just in these tinier shapes. So I didn't even use any of the B side of this one. The B side of the Bs. So I just did six of the Bs. One, two, three, four, five. And then I did come back in, we'll do this one too. I did come back in and I cut a couple, um, I cut one small size. So like we were saying, this is small. I cut one small size, just of this pinkish mauve background color. I cut one of those and then I cut one, two teeny tiny extra smalls, again, of just the plain background color. So I'm just outlining them in some of this space that's around these. And again, you can see there's gonna be, after we cut these out, there's gonna be lots of extra paper left over to make other layouts. And then the very last piece that I used is I just cut two of the large hexagons from this paper. So, let me just trace that twice. And then I'm gonna show you how I cut these. Um, you can either use an X-Acto knife to cut these or just scissors. And I am going to use scissors because that is easier for me. Okay, those are the only ones I cut out of this brown. And I'm just gonna grab my fussy cutting scissors and I'm gonna cut just inside of these lines so that you can't see the lines. Like I don't want these pencil lines to show on my layout. I know this one's kind of hard. Let me get a lighter color paper so you can see better what I'm doing. Let me get that one. And okay, this might work a lot better. So you see I've got a hexagon here. I'm cutting just inside of the pencil lines because I don't want these pencil lines to show up on my layout. So I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and cut out all of these hexagons that I just outlined and I will be right back. So now that you've got all of these hexagons cut, we are going to go ahead and I want them to pop a little off the page. So I inked the edges in Distress Oxide Speckled Egg and I'm just gonna go ahead and ink all the edges of all of these cuts in this color. If you don't wanna use this color or you don't wanna ink them at all, you could maybe outline them with the with a black pen to make them pop a little off the page. Um, you could use a different color ink. You could use multiple colors of ink. You could do like tone on tone and like a dark rust color ink on this color and or you could use all black ink or all brown ink, whatever. Anything that you like or you don't even have to ink the edges at all. Um, the one that really needed help popping off the page was this one because the background of our page is pretty white even though we're gonna paint it with some of that shimmers paint it's pretty white on the back so I would at least if anything ink the edges of these little couple arrow ones so I'm going to go off camera and go ahead and finish inking the edges of this whole pile and I will be right back Alrighty, so now we're gonna kind of switch gears and go to the background paper um, and get that painted because we're gonna use a little bit of this uh, shimmers paint, a mixed media. And you, if you're making your layout look the same as I am, then you can just do exactly what I'm showing. Um, if you have a way different configuration that you're wanting to do than I am, you may want to lay out your page before doing this part, like just to get an idea of where things are going and then come back in and do the paint. Sorry, I used the end of this brush to stir the paint, so I want to, don't want to waste any. So all you're going to do is I am taking a glass mat to work on and getting my packaging in the paint and just kind of painting up. 
the areas that I want to have paint. And if you want, you can thin this out a little bit with water, if this is too thick for you, but I kind of like it, so I'm going to leave it. And I'm just kind of inking up all the areas that I know I want paint in. So I want a little down there, and I want a little up here. You can use a paintbrush, you don't have to use this technique of the packaging. Um, I'm using it because to me, I like this technique and it's fairly simple. And I'm using the packaging from these guys to do it. So there's a little bit of paint on the background. And then I'm going to switch to the other paper. That was the left hand side. I'm sorry, that was the right hand side of the layout. And this is the left hand side of the layout. And I just know I want some up here. And like I said, if this is too thick or too dark for you, you can thin this out with water. On my original layout that I made, I think I thinned it out with a little water because it was not quite this bright, but I like it right. I'm glad I'm doing this one so you can see both options. Nice and vibrant or a little bit muted and watered down. And that's about it I'm out of the paint that I put out there. And I think I did a pretty good job of painting the background. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up and go rinse off my stuff and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back and these are dry. And what I'm going to do now is lay out my photos and I'm actually gonna tape my photos down. Um, instead of pictures on my videos, you may know that I use these, oops these upside down let's get these right side up that I use these white papers to represent my pictures so oh my goodness they're all upside down it's pretty funny so I'm just going to lay them out oh my gosh how I want them I think I like that placement I'm gonna have this one kind of overlap onto the next page this one here here. And I'm just going to go ahead and adhere my pictures down. Now, I did not mat these, but you have plenty of the patterned paper that we cut the hexagons from, like so much of that left, that you can use that to mat these pictures if you would like to mat your pictures. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to mat them. Um, I feel like the background, my pictures popped off this white background very well, like they were. So I'm just leaving them. And then once I uh, get these pictures all placed on here, I just kind of staggered them. I didn't measure them any certain way. Uh, just staggered them across the layout and I'm gonna cut this, this little piece that goes over. I'm going to trim it off and I'm actually going to go ahead and adhere it onto this side. I'm just gonna cut right down the middle right there, possibly if I can get things to stick. Oh, that's too much, too much, too much. It just kind of I, I like trimming through my pictures. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Um, I know some people do not like to do that. So if you don't like to do that, maybe just trim your picture and throw this little sliver away. But we will pretend like I'm adhering this right to the next page. So it's like a continuation there. And then you've got a lot of this 
grid paper left and my I like when I was designing the layout I like to kind of put a little strip of this on each of the two ends it just kind of finished off the layout to me like it just gave it a really finished look so I just cut two thin strips of that and I went ahead and adhered it down the ends it just kind of like book ended my layout if you will I hope you can see this and that I am not off camera I'm gonna check if I'm off camera here in a second Alrighty, start with this far left side and I'm going to start gently, um, not adhering anything, but kind of placing down where I want things to go. This hexagon, I want it to hang off the page. So I am going to just give it a little trim. I make half of it hang off up there. And the other half is gonna go over here in a minute. We'll worry about that in a minute though. So I'm just taking these and kind of placing them a little bit how I want them. Let's see, I feel like I'm missing a hexagon somewhere. Oh, here it is. I'm making my hexagons go with the points up and down as opposed to the points sideways. You can do it either way. You can do your hexagons that way or that way. I just happen to be doing them this way. Um, this one is going to go down there. And I'm kind of trying, I know that they're different sizes, but I kind of try to line them up with each other, like make the little gaps be uniform even though they're different size hexagons the little space in between is fairly uniform across all of them and this is why i'm laying this out first so i can get an idea before i started hearing it down oops I've got all kinds of things happening here and I don't know, and I don't know what. Aha, this is what's the problem. I put this one on the wrong side. There we go. And you can add a lot more hexagons to this or use a lot, whoa, use a lot less hexagons. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one right there so it can go half on one side and half on the other. I just went ahead and gave it a little trim. And once I get these all placed down, I'm gonna go off camera and go back in with my tape and adhere them all. But I wanna get them all um, kind of in the right places right now for you. And this isn't exactly like my original layout. Um, you know, some of these I didn't measure where I put my pictures, so some of it might just be a little shifted from that original layout, but I think that it's um, really close. And yeah. I, ex I think I accidentally cut one too many of those bees. I don't think we really needed six of them. I think we only needed five of them. And this 
honey goes in here. Yeah, and then this little guy goes in here. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these and I will be right back. Okay guys, this is all adhered down. And the first thing that we're gonna do is trim off any pieces that are sticking over the edge. And I am just going to trim them with my paper trimmer, just cleaning up. This is the only one that I have hanging over the edge, but you might have more than just that. So once that is done, now we're going to come in and do a little more embellishing using our templates. And the way that we're going to do that is to get a very fine marker. I'm using a Sharpie roller pen. And again, we're going to use, I'm going to concentrate on the left hand side for now. So it's not so overwhelming. And we're going to keep these spacing with the points up. Now we're going to do some outlining. So these are in the same direction as these hexagons. And I'm going to take, which we'll call this extra small, small, medium, large. So I'm going to take the medium one. And on these, you know, when we traced the hexagons on the paper, I traced on the outside. But now I'm going to kind of trace on the inside because it's a little bit easier. And I am just going to trace the hexagon shape with this thin black marker as a design element on my page. Oops. And right there... Okay, I'm gonna have to pay a little closer attention when I do the next one um, and make sure that it writes before I move it. So it's almost like a stamped image sort of, but not stamped. It's just using this template and tracing it and it's just adds a little design element. You could use any color pen here. I'm gonna use the large one up here. Um, I'm going to use the medium one down here and if you wanted to do this in a different way you could do all this pen work before adhering any of these hexagons down. I'm just kind of doing it the lazy way I guess right now. I adhered everything down first so now I'm just putting this in the leftover spaces kind of the lazy way. And I've got this small one. And I just kind of am filling in the spaces that are left over. There's no real rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. So I am doing, this is the small one. Oop, I messed up a little right there. I'm just gonna have to roll with it. That's the only problem of doing this is you have to be Kind of go slow, take your time. I'm not taking my time very good right now because I'm trying to get this done, you know, for the video. That's about all I'm gonna do to this side and then I'm gonna do some on the right hand side. So on the right hand side, I'm gonna use the small one again up here. I'm just trying to do a variety of sizes and sometimes overlapping. And a small one up here. And then I'm gonna do this bigger one in here. And then The medium one I'm going to do a couple of times on here. And then down here. And a little bit right here. And then I'll get the small one 
to come in and do one more. And I think that's about all that I'm going to do with that. So now that we've got that all done. So next we're going to come in here with the title and ephemera. And I'm just going to pick a few pieces of ephemera and kind of place them on here. Be yourself. And then... Um, let me... Let me figure this out. Let's see. This one over here. I'll move those alphabets out of the way. And then there's quite a bit of ephemera in here. So you, um, have plenty left for other layouts. Come on, this little guy. And you don't have to use the same pieces that I'm using, of course. Now I feel like I've skipped something. I'm missing some here. I've got this one, this one. These guys I'm gonna use, and these guys I'm gonna use. Okay, I think I've got all of them picked out that I need to use. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere down these little embellishment clusters. Let's see, this little bee I wanna pop up on foam tape, so I'm not gonna adhere that down quite yet. And then down here, I want to pop some of this stuff up on foam tape too. So I'm just kind of getting the main pieces down. And that's good, right like that. And then let me get some foam tape here. I'll just pop up this little set of flowers. And then I liked I liked these bees that are just monochromatic, but I also kind of felt like coming back in with a little bit of that yellow um, sunflower shimmers paint, like a teeny tiny bit on a tiny fine brush. And let me show you what I did with that. Let's see. I went with a tiny fine brush and this shimmers paint. And I like barely, barely, barely painted the body part of this bee, you know, like where the yellow stripes would be. Just painted it just like that. And I did that to all three of these bees. And I just kind of went over the whole image and dabbed my hand over the top because it was kind of thick. So I just dabbed my hand so you could still see the colored opposite stripes under there. And the very final piece to this layout is just going to be to put the title. And my title, I called it Be Beautiful, like a play on the word be, B-E-E, -E, beautiful. 
And so I, and I just put my title right across here. So I'm going to start with the last, the L of beautiful and work my way backwards because I know I want the title to end right there. But after I get this title on, that is gonna be it for this layout. And if you um, join our Facebook group at Not Just For Boys Kit Club Community Group, um, you can share if you make a layout using this kit, whether or not it's, you know, this, this layout or something that you just made using this kit, you can share it there for us all to enjoy. Um, our design team also shares the layouts that they make using all of our kits on our Facebook page there. So we hope to see you over there. And other than that, I will put close-up pictures at the end of this video. There are also pictures close-up and still shots so you can see the details of this on the listing of this on our website, which is gonna be linked in the video. And um, yeah, and then your instructions also have a photo of the completed layout in them, the instructions that come with your kit. So thanks guys, I hope you like this layout and I will see you soon, bye.